Phoenix and Six. Half the bucks in the series. You're delusional. Your basketball card should be revoked. I need to see more. Yo. You, you Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to Sports on Air. Aiden, I am Darius Simons, and welcome back to the show. Today, guys, we have another NFL episode for you today, and we're discussing the hottest topic across the entire NFL, and that is Odell Beckham Jr. And man, it hasn't been a crazy couple of days for NFL fans as we all await the decision. Uh, of a three-time Pro Bowler and two-time All-Pro wide receiver, Odell Beckham Jr.'s next destination as he was recently released by the Cleveland Browns after his two-plus year tenure with the Browns. And in this episode, I'm going to tell you, one, what team best fits Odell Beckham Jr., two, what team needs Odell Beckham Jr., and number three, what team is going to get Odell Beckham Jr. Now, let's start with what team best fits Odell. And to me, that goes to the San Francisco 49ers. And, you know, you put Odell in Kyle Shanahan's West Coast offense. It is something we can all see both sides benefiting from uh, off of that type of blockbuster move. No team has a greater disparity uh, when it comes to the pass production and, and in the passing game than the 49ers, who have really relied on Debo Samuel all season long. And Debo Samuel has a, has 46% of the 49ers receiving yards. And adding a happy Odell Beckham Jr., that can really spice things up. Let's not forget when Odell was a New York Giant, the 49ers were looking to acquire him back in like 2019. Um, But the 49ers weren't able to give up the draft capital and the draft compensation in order to get him from the Giants. Now we're here two years later, and Odell might not be the, quite the same player that he was before. But, you know... To get a guy like Odell Beckham Jr. for free off of waivers, not in a trade, we're going to have to give him draft capital or some of your best players in order to get him. Um, adding Odell to the 49ers offense with Debo Samuel, George Kittle, and a healthy Raheem Mostert, and no matter the starting quarterback, whether it's Jimmy Garoppolo or Trey Lance, you know, we really open things up with the run game, and which is something Kyle Shanahan would really, really like. Now let's move on to what team needs Odell. And to me, it comes down to two playoff continued teams. One, the Baltimore Ravens, and two, the New Orleans Saints. And when I use the term need, um, I really don't desperate. I don't mean in a, in a desperate type of way. I mean it in the sense as if that if you add a guy like Odell, that will really, really boost you, boost you to becoming possibly Super Bowl champions. Now, let me start with the Ravens. Now, you ask anybody. I've always been critical about the Ravens when it comes to the lack of depth and talent and their receiving court. He would give the Ravens a really st strong one-two punch at the position to go on for the stellar run game, one of the best running games in the league, and a top-tier quarterback, and not the best quarterback in the league, and Lamar Jackson, who may just be the MVP this season. What about me? What about me? You know, when you add a guy like Odell, that will give... Everybody, including myself, the extra assurance that the Ravens can be competitive and really have a good enough chance to make the Super Bowl this year. Now, number two, my two, my number two team that needs Odell is the New Orleans Saints, and I'm gonna try to make this uh, statement as short as possible. You have James Winston who's out for the rest of the season with a torn ACL, I believe. Michael Thomas is out for the rest of the season, and now you're in a position where you don't know. Who your starting quarterback is going to be? Is it going to be Trevor Simeon or is it going to be Taysom Hill? And you're playing in a relatively tough division in the NFC South, where you're competing with the Bucks, where you're competing with the Panthers, where you're competing with the Falcons, um, and the Saints are trying to make a late season a playoff push. And adding a guy like Odell, knowing you have some disparity when it comes to health on the offensive side of the ball, without having a a quote unquote elite wide receiver Michael Thomas for the rest of this season, or your starting quarterback who is performing phenomenal this season, James Winston. If you don't add Odell, you really have to rely on the one game between Alvin Kamara and Mark Ingram, newly acquired Mark Ingram, I might add. Anger like Odell would really, really, really help this Saints team out without um knowing that you're not knowing that you're without two of probably your best players on the offensive side of the ball. So the Saints need to make a huge attempt to get Odell. Let's move on to what team is getting Odell Beckham Jr. And it looks pretty clear to me right now 
that the Seattle Seahawks are going to acquire Odell Beckham Jr. off of Ravers. And right now, um, the Seahawks are going to make the strongest push to try to get Odell. And we have heard plenty of reports from plenty of sources that Russell Wilson is urging the Seahawks to sign Odell, and Odell wants to be there. And we know, as all we know is that Odell wants to play for a competitive team and wants a better quarterback. And that this is Seahawks' criteria right now. And the Seahawks have already had a formidable receiver duo between DK Metcalf and Tyrell Lockett, who have had some pretty good individual seasons um, so far. But however, the Seahawks have really been open about adding and wanting to get their receiver to support those guys in Lockett and Metcalf. And Odell could absolutely fill this role for the second half of the season. With the Seahawks playing in pretty much one of the toughest divisions, not the toughest division in the entire NFL, if the Seahawks want to make a late season playoff push, this is the move that they need to make. If Russell Wilson wants them. If the Seahawks want Russell Wilson to stay, if they want him to be a Seahawks for life, this is the move that they're going to make. And I, will, I will be very, very surprised. I will be very surprised if I see another team getting Odell outside of the Seattle Seahawks. You have. Statistically, probably one of the worst defenses in the league, and despite having two of the best defensive players in the league, and Bobby Wagner and Jamal Adams, you know, your offense is already great as is. But you add a guy like Odell Beckham Jr., a former All Pro wide receiver, a, a former Pro Bowl wide receiver, and whenever he's healthy, when he's had a full healthy season, he is a, he is accumulated for over 1,000 receiving yards each and every season. He's been healthy. And the Seahawks need that, and they're going to get that for sure. So with that being said, thank you for joining here in Sports Center. It's Aiden. I am Darius Sams. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. And also make sure to hit the bell post notification for every video and from channel. And until then, everybody, we'll see you on the next episode, guys. Peace.